Good morning. It's 5.30 in the morning on a Monday morning. A great Monday morning for all Redskins fans out there. All Redskins fans. It's going to be a great day. But I wanted to make a recap of what happened last night because I saw a lot of games. I saw all the games that were just... I'm happy that I saw all the games because this is what the NFL is about. Let, let me go one by one with y'all. Y'all got Ravens versus Jets. 19-3 Ravens. The Ravens whooped on them from the beginning to end. You got Pittsburgh, Cleveland. Cleveland could have came back. Pittsburgh won 27 to 11. But, you know, they were. Josh Gordon had a great day. Antonio Brown had a great day. Um, you got Tampa Bay and you got uh, Detroit Lions. D Detroit lost 21 to 24. Good, good, good plays by Mike Lennon. Great, great throws. Great catches by Underwood. Um, speaking of great catches, let me go back to the Ravens game with Jacoby Jones. Caught that over Ed Reed. I just wanted to say that it was a great, great catch by Jacoby Jones. I don't know how he caught that. Um, so, yeah, Tampa Bay, they're legit. I've been trying to tell you all, they've been, they've been legit ever since Mikey Glennon got into the game. Ever since Mike Glennon got into the starting role, they've been legit. And you got Minnesota Green Bay. I don't know. I, it was it was a tough game. Pe Peterson had 100 yards. Gerhardt Garrett Hart had like 100 yards. The fullback had like 100 yards. It was a great rushing game for the for the uh, for the Vikings, and it, it shows how the the Packers can be beat. They can be beat any given Sunday. They're not that great. You got Jaguars and Houston. Uh, I don't remember anything from that game. San Diego, Kansas City, San Diego won 41 to 38. Pretty legit. I'm not gonna lie. It was a pretty legit, pretty legit game. They they, they won it at the end. And um, Allen had a great game. Eddie Royal had a couple of nice catches during the, at the end of the end of the game in the fourth quarter. Kansas City, they even though they lost, man, they every week I see them and they're more legit than the last week. Every week they become better. Somehow, some way they come better. Every Sunday. That's that's props on Andy Reid. And then you got my boy Camp Newton. He had a great, great, great game. Some catches by LaFell, by Ted Ginn, who dropped so many passes. Ted Ginn, you dropped so many passes. But it's all right. I mean, we they, they won the game, and it's... Miami should have won that game. I'm not going to lie. Miami should have won that game. You got St. Louis, Chicago. St. Louis just playing out manhandled Chicago from beginning to end. There was a couple of plays that, you know, Matt Forte scored. I think they called it back. But it was just, it was just St. Louis had that game from beginning to end. And you got Arizona and Colts. I don't know what happened. I was watching that game and Arizona was just dim 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 demolishing them offensively defensively special teams I guess Trent Richardson didn't, didn't work out for y'all cult fans I don't know why y'all don't use them Trent Richardson was not being used at all I don't get it I really don't get it y'all y'all picked up a first rounder for you know and then y'all don't use them for nothing for, for pass protection Man, get pick up someone from the streets. Pick up somebody from that from like two thousand and nine that wants to play football to be a to be a, a a blocker for luck. Don't pick up Trent Richardson. And then you got Tennessee and Oakland, another buzzer beater game. The Tennessee at the end. Raiders can't play defense. I'm sorry. I, I mean, I said it. Raiders cannot cannot play good, wholesome, shut down pass defended defense they just can't i don't get it they, they should be able to but they they they, just, they can't coaching that's all you all coaching does not prepare them for those type of performances that they come out every week raiders come out every week and they basically get beat every week by the passing game defensively and then you got dallas new york dallas ended up winning by a field goal at the end Giants could have won it. 
Giants came back. You know how ca- Cowboys fans y'all do. Y'all y'all like to have a forty to one lead in the first quarter, and then by the third or fourth quarter, y'all fighting for that victory at the end. Don't get it. You, I don't get how the Cowboys do that. I don't get how the Giants came back. Really, because without Knicks, I don't know. I don't know. And then you got the game of the week supposedly with uh, Denver and uh, New England. Uh the first half was boring. It was fumbles, turnovers, boring, and then a sloppy game. And then the second half, that's when the game started, which is cool. But it was still not a game that, to me, was... To me, to me personally, it wasn't a good game. It was just the weather had so much to do with it that it affected the game plan. It affected... It affected it, you got you to gotta remember, this is probably the first week where every game had a really bad influence with the wind, with the rain, with the with the freezing cold temperatures. I think every game that was outdoors on Sunday was pretty much affected by the by the weather somehow some way. And then you got tonight's game. Skins versus Niners. I mean, I don't know. I got I got Skins winning it, obviously. I don't think uh the Shanahan regime will let that uh, quarterback situation be be troubling. They 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 can't. They they have to run the ball. Skins, you have to run the ball, and just run the ball down their throats, just like the just like the Vikings did it. Why, why can't y'all just run the ball down somebody's throat twenty four seven? Have trap, have trap uh uh type of runs have have pitches have counters get off that that wildcat get off that veer get off that whole i'm gonna use rg3 as a as a running threat no <laughs> first of all he's not a running threat this year second of all that's how you make him dynamic it's by making him a threat not who cares if you can actually run it but if the defensive linemen think okay he might run it then those passes that he did last year, they will work again. Remember, you have to play mind games when you play against the Skins, too. The Skins don't know what they're doing, I don't think, before even tip-off. <laughs> they really don't. I, I, I don't see how their game plan of the first 10, 15 plays are called. I don't know how they practice it. That they are like, okay, these are the first 10, 10 plays that we're going to run. And every single week... Nothing happens. Nothing happens. Anyways, I'll see y'all again. This is my football installment of um, what happened last night. Y'all be easy now. Peace.